Good morning, my dear mathlets. Today we will discuss about uh, basic proportionality theorem or Thales theorem. This theorem is uh, discovered by Thales. That's what uh, the theorem name is: basic uh, proportionality theorem or Thales theorem. Proportion means everyone we know already. A is to B is as C is to D. Dini lage adi, right? The first ratio, for example, two is to three. Uh, the next second ratio we will get to equivalent uh, rational number. Equivalent rational number means we can multiply with any number, any number. That's your choice. For example, take three table, three two zero six, three three zero nine. So, product of extremes two nine zero eighteen equals to product of mains three six zero eighteen. So equal. So two is to three is as a six is to nine. That's it. This is a basic idea about ratio proportion. So this proportion, why we are using in geometry means Thales observed if you take any triangle, if you take any triangle A, B, C, and take any one side, select any one side, and for this side. Draw a a line parallel to this. This line divide other two sides in the same ratio or in proportion. So this idea discovered by Thales. That's why this is Thales theorem. Simple. We can write it easy. N triangle A B C, right? D E parallel to B C then A D distance by D B distance is equals to A E distance by E C distance. That means A D is to D B is as A E is to E C proportion. We got proportion. So this proportion. Is uh, we are we got from this triangle. That's what this is a basic proportionality theorem, right? Now, I uh, I drew for this line the uh, parallels. Or else you can go with uh, one more way. This also parallel. These two also parallel. These are in same ratio. Or uh, take one more. This side parallels. These are in proportion. Understand? Any model we can take it. So how to prove this theorem? Simple, a simple way I will explain my dear ones. So let me take first triangle. Uh, this is a A B C triangle, and this is a parallel side D E. So you must write first statement. Statement. And given. Right. Next uh, to prove. And next. Uh, Construction. Construction. Next uh, proof. These particulars you must follow to prove this theorem. Statement means whatever we got, uh, write in words, sentences. Simple. In a triangle, draw a line parallel to one side. Parallel to one side. It will. Divide other two sides in the same ratio. This is statement. The simple way. How to write given in triangle ABC. DE parallel to BC. That's it. This is given. To prove what we need to prove. AD by DB distance. AE by EC distance. AD by DB distance equals to E by E C distance. That's it. Construction. To prove this theorem, we need some construction. So, C one construction. Why we need construction means to prove this one, we need some construction. That is, E of perpendicular to A B. We must draw, and D Z perpendicular to A C. Why it is perpendicular? Why can't be this? Already we drew no ED parallel to one side, but 
this is parallel just parallel but it is not perpendicular just turn it as you will get idea see right see in these two lines bc line and ef line in this two which is perpendicular to this uh, ab this one right this is just parallel d line <coughs> d line is uh, not parallel to not perpendicular to ab that's what i drew now efp is uh, perpendicular to ab right d e is not perpendicular to base that's what i drew ef is perpendicular to base that's it. now see once my dear so construction what draw ef perpendicular to ab comma dg perpendicular to ac and join join be comma dc so that's this is construction right now do you proof proof do you know area of the triangle formula yes half into base into height then so to prove this one what we need ad by db equals to a by ec yes our first target is showing this one equation one next target this is from one and two you will get this is right so ad by db very selected ad by ad ad by db where is it this is ad right and this is bd for this ad what is connected triangle a d e is a triangle we must take this triangle area and second is what b d e this is second right so area of a triangle a d e by area of triangle b d e equals to two triangles equals to what is formula half into base into height now what is the base here ad turn it you will get right base is ad height is ef for this triangle base is bd height is no height here where is height here no height here but this only height because of if you take a ground and take an altitude right angle for this triangle draw it one triangle for this triangle is height is this one and if you draw it one more triangle this only height for this triangle and take one more triangle one more triangle like that if you draw the number of n triangles with a common altitude this is that's what here also same concept this is a triangle adb triangle is for altitude is ef and bde triangle altitude also ef that is a trick so base is a d into height is ef by one more for this one base is a ad db into height is also same as you know this to cancel this to cancel so ad by db equation one we have got the next second it come to this, this side we need to now prove it as ae by ec so where is ae this is ae again connected triangle ad same and ec so ecd this triangle this triangle so finally we should take the two triangles again area of area of triangle a d e by area of triangle c d e see once 
ए रेफ ट्रायंगल ए ई डी दिस ट्रायंगल एंड अगेन सी डी दिस ट्रायंगल राइट सो हाफ इनटू बेस इज व्हाट ए ई इज बेस इनटू हाइट इज व्हाट डी जी इज हाइट डी जी इज हाइट बाय हाफ इनटू अगेन हियर व्हाट इज बेस सी इज बेस into dz is common height this two can this two canceled so final we got ae by ac equation 2 now see there from 1 and 2 if lhs are equal then automatically rhs should be equal but once check lhs numerator ade in second equation ade okay both are equal but denominator bde cd not equal we must show first these two are equal already we have the basic idea in 9th class if there are two lines are the parallels and take any one common base and draw one triangle with side with 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 base is ab right and height is some perpendicular any 10 right base is 5 okay Take uh, one more triangle. Base is what? 5. Height is what? 10 only. Because if the two lines are parallel, the perpendicular distance at any point is 10. No? At any point. So height is same for these two triangles. Base is same. Height to base same means they will give same area. This technique we have to apply here. See once B B D triangle, right? And C D E triangle having the same base D E and between the parallels. Parallels means what? the height the height are height is common at any two points so height is common no means bd triangle height base cd triangle height base are equal so that these two areas are also equal means triangle bde comma triangle cde having same base that is D and lies between lies between parallel lines what are parallel lines D parallel to BC therefore area of a triangle BDE equal to area of triangle CDE that's it this one gives the result is left hand sides are equal these two are equal so let us take it now so area of a triangle ADE by I'm doing here see once what is numerator area of triangle ADE it is same here what is the denominator area of triangle BDE? Actually, BDE equal to CD, you know. That means BDE place replace with CD. So, in the denominator BDE place, we are replacing with CDE because both are equal. So, area of triangle CDE equals to AD by DB. Equation 3. Now, what is the second equation? Area of triangle ADE by area of triangle CDE. This is left hand side. Right? A by EC right hand side. Come to here. Equation 3. Area of triangle ADE by area of triangle CDE. Left hand side is equal. So, equation 2 left hand, equation 3 left hand equal then automatically 
the right hand sides are equal so what is your right hand side ad by db equals to equation 2 right hand side ae by ec ae by ec so hence it proved hence it proved from equations 1 2 3 this is a proof about the thales theorem